And welcome back, this is Beller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southwest, up against Death Mole. Oh, that's a good name. One of the best Terran names I've heard in a while. He is the Blue Terran in the Northeast. The map is Blistering Sands, which actually does have a huge uh, rush distance as well. Maybe as long as Scrap Station. You know, I'll have to, I'll have to, to get out my measuring tape and get that to you sometime. Of course, uh, the ramps are on the complete opposite sides of the map, but it is just a straight path down the middle. Uh, I, I've had mixed success on this map. Um, the, the, really, the, the definable part of this map is the destructible rocks guarding the back door. I'm never sure if I want those down on the other side, or if I want... you know, I just don't know what to do with them as a Terran player. Uh, he is going for a supply depot way out um, at the the ramp. It is at a long distance there, and as a result, he does supply lock himself, does cancel uh, that SCV while he is supply locked. But of course, now he should put it back up, put it back up. No, he is going for the barracks first, um, right at the ramp, and he did lose an SCV in the meantime because he did go way out there to get that first supply depot down. I always put the first one here for that reason. You don't want uh, to waste time training while you move the SCV way out here to build that first supply depot. Coming in, I do see the bear g going up on the ramp. I assume he will be fixing, finishing that block off. And I walk in, and what do I see? Too fast gas here. Two quick refineries, so I have to assume he's going for a quick tech build and that this barracks is really just going to be there for a block off, maybe getting a couple marines out. But no, he is going... No, he did cancel that, so it looks like he was going to be going for a barracks, but he did not go for it and went for the supply depot instead. He is beating me slightly in terms of the opening gambit here. Um, he is getting the orbital command a little bit sooner than I am, but my first marine will be out before his, and I should be getting that reactor down any second now. There we go, I was just waiting for minerals. And he does finish off the block off here with those two supply depots and the barracks and quickly into a factory so yes we are going to be seeing a quick uh teching up build from death mole and he is doing quite a few things at once here but his apm is not that high uh just barely above mine which is very low always very very low and I do have the lead in the harvester count because I did not go for the second guess. I was able to train SCVs more often than he was. As you can see, I'm just constantly training SCVs. Uh, meanwhile, he does he did slip for a couple seconds, uh, a couple of times. Uh, he is going for a second barracks now. This, this is this is not a build that I've seen before. Uh, barracks into a factory into another barracks. I can't say that I've seen that, and I'm not sure where he's going to be going from here. I am still going for the three racks here, and I should really, um, based on what he's do, what I, what I see he's doing now, I should go for an early push here, um, go for an early timing attack, maybe after the stim pack is done or after the first level weapons upgrade is done. Um, I need. A, a good time to come in because if I let this go on he will be able to out tech me because that starport is almost done now meanwhile I have uh, just a few forces at my base and oh my gosh what am I doing I'm sending two marines to each Salnaga tower because the last guy was able to kill those guys off he does have a marine out to watch the destructible rocks a few extra marines out. He should be researching siege mode. He is. Uh, that is why the siege tank is out. It looks like it's going to be a great defense here. A lot of supply depots out front, though. I'm not a big fan of that. But, of course, because he has that marine here, uh, he feels secure in uh, doing a massive block off on the main ramp. I do get an engine. That is where I put my engineering bay here. And 
even as I was building that, once again, I was iffy on that. I never know the great, a good placement for my engineering bay. I do want to hide it, uh, but I don't want it to be susceptible to attack. And here is pretty susceptible to attack, but I will be able to hear um, them going for the rocks first. But of course, if they came in with air units such as uh, medevac drop right there or banshees coming in, then that would be very susceptible to going down early. Armory going down. Medevac is out. So we should be seeing a drop soon? That that would be my guess. Get that siege tank in there. Start doing some massive damage. Um, I do have a little bit of an army, but not enough to be able to take it out. Oh, but it does look like I am going for a push here. This is... Maybe? No, I am going for an expansion. So this is the time when I thought, hey, you know, I should go for an expansion because I do have sight over the map, and it will give me... Um, map control so to speak but of course map control is only map control if the opponent thinks you have it as well so if i just have the zonaga towers but he doesn't know that uh then he does not know that i have map control <laughs> which um the, the whole purpose of that is to keep them in their base but of course if he doesn't think that he needs to stay in his base then he won't he is going for the stim pack. I, di I am going for the combat shield, so I am a little bit ahead of him in terms of the upgrades. Uh, still haven't gotten anything out of the engineering bay, though. I would love to see that. Uh, looks like, there we go. Just went for it now. I was pretty low on gas, it looked like. I do have two gas up. I do have a huge lead in the harvester count, plus I'm going for the... For the for the expansion here so what i really should do at this point is really up for grabs um i don't think i'm going to be able no it doesn't look like based on what each of our armies have that i'm going to be able to take out what he has plus he's got these siege tanks up in siege mode they can get great sight on the army down here if I was going to be going in, I do need to go for the destructible rocks. Um, I should send maybe one marine down here to make sure he doesn't have an expansion. When I see that is not the case, I should go for the back door entrance. He does look like he's going for a medevac drop. He's got six marines and a marauder in there. But I do have quite a few units inside my own base. Do I have missile turrets up? I do do because it is the ten and a half minute mark so I'm always scared about banshees at this point if he went for fast banshees but he did not uh, he went for the early tech upgrades into a medevac and it does look like that is all he got um, he's going for vehicle plating one so it does look like he's gonna be sticking with the mech uh, it doesn't look like there's an engineering bay up anywhere so if I went for a medevac drop of my own he would be defenseless um, Oh, it looks like he's got two medevac drops going. Meanwhile, I am sending my army into his base. Oh no, what am I doing? So I have very few uh, marines left in my base, and I, I'm settling for a base uh, trade here is what it's called uh, when I think I, I can finish his base faster than he can finish mine but of course those siege tanks are doing massive amounts of damage um, especially splash damage uh, but I am able to finish those off start doing some damage inside his base um, and oh that is it for him he has left the game oh so that is um Wow, so he had the two medevac drops going at the same time somewhat. This one did get there first, and of course these marines were able to finish them off. How are they able to do that? Well, I see here. So, ah, let's speed that up. In comes the medevac drop. Down they come, and they're focusing down supply depots. Now, I don't, this I don't understand. Why are you going for the supply depots? Turn it down to normal speed. I, I get the stim pack up and he does not, and that proved the difference in this game. And these eight marines will never get to see combat. And that is what won the game for me, it looks like. So I did go for, um, I did end up going for a push uh, because he, he really did stop uh, producing anything out of his base 
um, as he went for the micro for the for the medevacs, um, that is something that I I really can't um, tell you to go for to, to go against enough. Um, don't don't focus on micro inside your you know on attacks or defense or anything like that if it means you can't keep up your macro your production um, he really should have gone for an expansion a long time ago he's got 1700 minerals and uh, you know he's not getting enough scvs at his base anymore you know look, look at that compared to mine i'm actually maybe even a little oversaturated here uh looks like i have 20 um and these minerals are starting to go way down you know plus i have the expansion um but really these eight marines could not have finished my base faster than his and he was forced to leave the game because of that but really it's because he, because of his lack of being able to handle the two medevacs at once and really it was bad well two medevacs and being able to keep producing at home because he doesn't have any hotkeys here he's only got the the orbital command on one here he doesn't have these two barracks, the factory, or the starport going. And really, he only got the two um, medevacs out. He never got anything else out of that starport. Um, I mean, I, 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 I don't even have the best hockeys. I've only got, you know, I've got everything here on one. Uh, I've got these two orbital commands on four, and these uh, three barracks on five. And that is it. But that was... That was more than enough for me. Um, really, what I should do is have uh, Marines on one and Marauders on two or something similar to that uh, so I can focus down any sort of air units and these guys can focus down uh, the siege tanks, that kind of stuff. But really, it it is so important to be able to, to, to know your limits is, is what this game should teach you um, because really the... the his APM is not high enough to be able to do simultaneous drops while being able to def def defend, and that's what killed him in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. hope you learned. hope to see you next time. Bye.